Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing like a first impression on this new drugstore brow product which is by Maybelline and it is the Brow Drama Pro Palette. I did use this on my eyebrows today so if you want to see a demo of it then stay tuned until the end. And yeah, I just wanted to make a few comments about the brow palette so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that really intrigued me about this palette would be that it has three different colors right here one of them being the kind of pomade like Anastasia Beverly Hills the second thing is a brow powder and the last thing is a highlighting powder for under your eyebrow I did use all of these today on my eyebrows and under my eyebrows of course I really do like how these performed I can say that this one right here is very, very comparable to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Auburn. By the way, I got this in the shade Auburn. It comes with only three shades. I believe it's the light brown, dark brown, and Auburn. I'm glad that it comes with a reddish shade um, to go along with my orange hair now. Okay, so this palette does retail for $10.99, which is kind of steep for a drugstore but you do have to think about all the things that you do get inside so inside you get the two powders the pomade and two brushes it gives you a spoolie brush as well as the double-ended angle brush so you can use this for your light colors or dark colors or maybe one for the pomade one for the brow powder so stuff like that the only thing i would say is that this is 10.99 and the Anastasia Beverly Hills is $18. If you guys have watched my brow tutorial, you guys know that I use the pomade as well as a powder from one of Morphe's brow palettes. So for me, honestly, this palette was perfect because it had both a dip brow pomade-ish kind of thing and a powder as well, which I love doing. I love outlining with the dip brow and then filling in with the powder. So yeah, so for me, honestly, I give this a thumbs up. My eyebrows came out pretty, pretty nice. I absolutely love how they came out. So I can't really complain. The three products combined do make up 0.1 ounce and this one has 0.14 ounces. So I mean, you're getting three different things. This is cheaper and I do think it's a dupe for this. I absolutely do think it's a dupe. This is cheaper, this is drugstore, this is high-end, this is $18 once again, and this is $10.99. So I absolutely would go for this one. This is a definite dupe of the Dip Brow Pomade. The only thing is that if you don't see yourself using all three shades, then I say don't go with it. I see myself using all three shades every day, all the time, because I like having that creaminess as an outline and the inside I would want the powder. Now this is the first impression so I don't know if it lasts as long as the dip brow pomade because the dip brow pomade is waterproof so I can't let you guys know about that. I'll go ahead and leave it in the description below if it did last throughout the day for me if it didn't sweat it off. Usually I don't sweat this one off. I don't sweat many brow powders or brow products off because I'm not really oily around my eyebrows. I'll leave it down below if it did work for me or not but as of right now I do think that this one is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Now if you want to see how I got this eyebrow with this product then keep on watching. As you guys already may know I die for the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Auburn but I am always looking for new things for my brows to see if they work or not. This works amazing, but sometimes it can be a little bit harsh. And I'm probably not going to use this because I already do have a brush that I really, really do like. Which is this one right here, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Double Ended Brush. And this is in number 12. So it does have the highlighting powder right here. The more lighter brown shade. And this is more of like a dip brow texture. Um, red brownish shade. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys. So this is going to be a powder, and so it's this one right here. That's just how those look like. That's just how that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. Here with this angle brush. I'm going to start from right here. All the way up. Okay, so that's just how my outline is going to look like right now. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the same brush and then now go into the powder. The powder right here and fill it in tight. Honestly guys, I'm really liking it so far. And once it's all filled in, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just spool it out. And look at that guys, this is my first time trying it and I really really like it. I think that looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other brow and I'll come back to carve the eyebrows. Okay, so this is how my eyebrows are gonna end up looking. They're a little bit messy, but I really, really like how they are looking right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just carve my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use this um, concealer right here from the Morphe A Brow Palette. <laughs> So that's just how the eyebrows are looking. If you want, you can craft the top. But honestly, I'm just going to leave it like this. Honestly, I did not see this coming. I didn't think I was going to like this palette this much. But I honestly do. It's so good. I'm so shocked right now. I really, really like it. Now, the lasting power, I'm not sure about that. But for just wearing out, it's really nice. So yeah guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.